I now want to look at some applications of quadratic equations. So my first example, a rectangular garden has an area of 550 square feet and is surrounded by 94 feet of fencing. What are the dimensions? So let's start with this 94. The fact that it's surrounded by 94 tells me that's the perimeter. Fencing would go around the outside. That's my perimeter. So 94 is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And 540, this is my area. An area is given for a rectangle is length times width. I'm going to start with this first equation and solving it for w. So I'm going to subtract 2l from both sides. That gives me 94 minus 2l equal to 2w. And I'm then going to divide everything by 2. When I do, I get 47 minus l equal to w. On this equation here, I have that 540 is length times the width, but I just found a nice equation for the width, 47 minus L. So now I have 540 is equal to 47L minus L squared. When solving quadratics, we want to get everything on one side, so I'm going to move the L squared over, the 47L over, and then the 540, so I have L squared minus 47L plus 540. We then need to factor. We need two numbers that multiply to be 540 and subtract to be 47. And that'll be 20, negative 27 and negative 20. So this tells me that L is equal to 27 or L is equal to 20. I have this nice equation here for the width. 47 minus the length, so 47 minus 27 would be 20. Here, it would be 47 minus 20, which is 27. So either way, these answers are the same, a 27 by 20 foot garden. Let's suppose a bullet is shot straight upward, and we know its path is given by h equal to minus 16t plus 800t. In this case, t is the amount of time since we fired, and h is the height of the bullet. So when does the bullet hit the ground? Well, if it's hitting the ground, then its height is zero. So I have zero equal to minus 16t squared plus 800t. I can factor out a minus 16t. When I do that, I'm left with t minus 50. So that tells me that minus 16 t is equal to 0 or t minus 50 is equal to 0. So t is equal to 0 or 50 is equal to 0. And I didn't give my units here but my units here are in feet and seconds so we know that this bullet would hit the ground after 50 seconds. The next thing I want to know, when does it reach 6,400 feet? So now I want h to be equal to 6,400. So I have that is equal to minus 16t plus 800t. When solving a quadratic, we want everything on one side. So I'm going to rewrite this as 16t squared minus 800t plus 6,400 is equal to 0. When I do that, I can divide through by 16. I get t squared minus 50t plus 400 is equal to 0. And this is going to factor into t minus 40, t minus 10. So when I set each of these equal to 0, I have t minus 40 equal to 0 and t minus 10 equal to 0. So that gives me 40 and 10. So this bullet reaches the height of 6,400 feet after 40 seconds and 10 seconds. So it does it twice. And we can imagine this. It goes up and reaches it once at about 10 seconds. And then the bullet is eventually going to come back down due to gravity. And that would be 40 seconds later where it kind of crosses that height again. 
I now want to know when it reaches two miles or 10,560 feet. Well, then I would set H equal to 10,560. That should be equal to minus 16T squared plus 800T. We need to get everything to one side. So we have 16T squared minus 800T plus 10,560 equal to zero. We can divide everything through by 16. We get T squared minus 50T plus 660 equal to zero. And this time let's try to use the quadratic formula. It says negative B, so negative negative 50, plus or minus the square root of B squared, so minus 50 squared, plus four, or minus four rather, times A times C, all over two times A. As I'm simplifying this, 50 squared is gonna be equal to 2,500, and then four times 660 will be 2,640, all over two. And when I try to simplify this, I'm gonna have negative square root of 140. And we can't evaluate negative square roots, so this has no solution. The bullet never goes two miles high. It already turns around and comes back down before it gets that high.